Every October, we think pink to raise awareness for breast cancer. This month, doctors are trying to raise awareness for a less popular form of cancer. SNN's Kelly Rittenauer sat down with some Suncoast doctor. She joins us live in the newsroom with more. Kelly? John, when I initially started working on this story, I thought it was Bladder Cancer Awareness Month. But after looking into it a little further, I discovered this month is National Bladder Health Awareness Month, and an entirely different month is known as Bladder Cancer Awareness Month. Now, despite several months being dedicated to raising awareness for bladder health, it still hasn't gained traction quite like breast cancer awareness in the month of October. It isn't trendy or feminine. In fact, it's rarely even talked about. The bladder cancer situation has always been something that people take for granted for most of their life. But Dr. Robert Carey says talking about the symptoms of bladder cancer is critical. It's been one of the things that's been very difficult sometimes to get patients to present at an early enough stage. And if they do present at an early enough stage, most of them can save their bladder and be completely cured. Dr. Carey says some people don't know the symptoms of bladder cancer. Sometimes people mistake these symptoms of their bladder or the blood in their urine for just a normal process of aging and they pass a time period for which they could have a complete cure versus something where it could be a, a possible cause of death. He says the other major concern is people avoiding seeing the doctor due to the nature of the treatment. They always fear the concept that they're going to have a bag. While statistics are grim for those who put it off, Dr. Carey says treatment for bladder cancer has a high success rate. The risk of dying or the risk of having major complications uh, with surgery is much less than it was in the past. Sometimes, you know, the, uh, the, the life after you've had treatment for bladder cancer is much better than it was before because you've had your symptoms treated as well as your cancer cured. And every time a patient comes in to see Dr. Carey for an evaluation, he says he always leaves them with a message. There is no such thing as bad news. If we find out that you don't have cancer, that's good news. And if we find out that you do have cancer and we can cure it, that's also good news. Reporting in Sarasota County, Kelly Rittenauer, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Now earlier this year, Dr. Robert Carey was recognized as the safest surgeon in Florida for prostate removal. John. Well, Kelly, what do doctors say are the major causes of bladder cancer? John, Dr. Carey says the two biggest contributors are age and cigarettes. All right. Thanks for the update, Kelly.